Order 49. Check and repair any defects in the car. Oh, crikey. Perform chip tuning. Minimum chip tuning. Minimum 10%. This car is really heavy and I can't overtake anybody. Can you add some more power to my car? Two and a half thousand dollars. Well, I don't think the problem here is that we need more power in the car. I think the problem here is that your car's too heavy. And it's all about power to weight ratio and you're driving around in a tank. That's the problem, my friend. But 10% power, that's really going to help. Um, oh god, what did it say? It said, find any problems, repairing defects, which means checking everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is chuck it on the OBD reader, then I'm going to take it for a test drive, then I'll probably put it in the diagnostic, oh crikey. Let's see what we can find. Right, let's see what you showed up, if anything. Aha, woohoo! There's a problem right there. Can't see anything else. Of course, it is a V6. There could be... Let me just have a quick look underneath. Spark plugs are green. Spark plugs are green. Right, okay. So there's no problem with the ignition system. Which is good. Let's put the cover back on. And we'll chuck it in the path test to see if we can find any problems. This should highlight any issues with the suspension. I don't know if there are going to be any. And the brakes. Again, don't know if there are going to be any. It's not bad inside. He seems to have... I was about to say leather trim, but it looks more plastic to me. It looks like he's he's put polish on it. I imagine when you sit on these seats, you kind of slide down as you're trying to drive your car. Getting jiggy with it. Have you noticed his little chrome bits on his car, like around the... I think they look a bit naff, actually. Those little chrome pieces, they just seem awkward. Don't you think? Still, it's not my car, so I shouldn't really be that bothered. <laughs> right. Oh, interesting. Can't actually see anything wrong with your car, my friend. Hmm. Check and repair any defects in the car. Well, okay, let me just let me just repair that. Let's just see if repairing that actually Oh, come on. Causes that to be ticked. I wish you could disable the camera zoom. I really do. Airflow meter. I don't believe... Is that repairable, the airflow meter? Yes, it is. Okay. That's about as cheap as we can do it then. Um, yeah, I want to know if that is going to tick the box. Because everything else so far is good on his car, apart from the fact that it's a tank. But we're not a lot we can do about that unless we start taking seats out. So what's that ticked? Good, right, just a chip tune left. Awesome. So we just had one problem with his car. I was worried there was going to be some really devious things wrong with his car. Chip tuning program EEPROM. Uh, is it 10%? I think it is. Don't blow up. <laughs> it just sounds like it's gonna. 15%. There you go. That'll do. Some very weird noises when you're in there. Okay, we got 15. That should do it. Awesome. Two and a half grand. Just before I take that two and a half grand, I think I'm gonna check my. See, I've got 16. I'm going to try and leave a minimum of 10. 
but I'm going to go for faster importing, business management, more income. Let's, let's jump that up. And then, should we put that up or should we put that up? More tools. It's not a lot, is it? It's just a little percentage here. Three grand. That'll take me just under ten. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's keep, try and keep a balance here. Trying to be a better mechanic. Ripper. Order number 50. Find the solution. Perform chip tuning. My car consumes more fuel than it should. Is something broken? Try chip tuning to keep the fuel consumption to a minimum. Interesting. Now, something broken. Try chip tuning to keep the fuel consumption to a minimum. Do we, I'm, I'm slightly confused. Are we meant to look for a problem with the car? Or just tune it? Is something broken? Tell you what, since this is an ignition fueling problem, I'm going to check this to make sure there's no problem with the spark plugs, ignition leads, or ignition module, just to check we don't have a firing problem. Other than that, it's going to be tuning, I guess. Let's have a look at your car. No, that seems to have highlighted green at the moment find the solution before. all right let's try tuning it and see what happens the car condition right that answers that question so there is a problem there is indeed a problem so i'm thinking test drive then no oh well it's just revealed itself at the back there look there is indeed a fueling problem there's a fuel pump problem. Let's get his fuel pump sorted out. What about that fuel filter? Let's inspect that while we're here. Yep, both the fuel filter and the fuel pump. Lucky I actually checked that. Nothing repairable. Fuel pump and fuel filter. To the shop. Car parts. Fuel pump, fuel filter, sell my parts, fuel pump, fuel filter. Hopefully this will allow us to go straight to the tuning then. One would hope. Okay. Let's see what it thinks about that. No! Declined. Declined. Interesting. So there is an underlying issue here. The car has a problem which you have not yet identified. What could it be? Could it be? I'm thinking these issues are always around the air intake. When it's around performance and fueling, it's electrical, or it's fuel, or it's air intake. Basically, the elements of combustion. Uh, filter 7%, just as I suspected. Air filter. Swap a new one of those. I'm loving the discounts I'm getting these days. Swipe that in. Hopefully that'll solve it, unless there's some kind of electrical ignition problem, which we're about to find out. Other than that. What does that say? I've still not ticked it, so I'm guessing it's not going to... Right, can we can dyno check it now. So I think that means the car's fixed, doesn't it, from that point of view. Um, okay, incorrect ratio. Ooh. In 
correct ratio. <laughs> this is funny. Whoa! Why is that saying incorrect? That's a beautiful ratio. What's wrong with you? It's awesome. It's got a load of performance out of this thing. I think the car might blow up, but, you know. Minus 19%?! What, I just made it worse?! <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, look at that, for God's sake! There's low... How can I make this any better? God, it's like trying to pick locks in Skyrim. What the hell? Is there an art to this? <laughs> this is crazy. I'm getting like, whoa, proper ratio. That's complete accident. It's you just play with the bars until it goes, yep, there you go. You might as well roll dice. Plus 45%. Seriously, you might as well roll dice, because that's just... Click this, click that. I honestly can't see how there was much skill involved in that. Oh, crap. Um, we've done the chip tuning, but there's still a problem with the car. Which is kind of interesting. You know what, I think I might take it on here now. Do a quick path test. This is quite involved. Let's find out. There must be a physical problem with the car, that's what I'm thinking now. We've done all the fueling. There's got to be a physical issue. Which means a transmission issue, I think. So I'm expecting problem with an axle right now. Or the brakes possibly sticking, but I've never seen that in the game. I don't know. Um, I don't think this is going to highlight an engine issue, put it that way. See, my car's like this, you know, with the kind of cloth and then the leather trim. And I, I kind of like that. It's like a, a best of both worlds. Oh, it's just got random chrome on it on the door as well. Is it me? You can see through to the floor. Um, let's see... What's that highlighted? That highlighted lots and lots of things, but not one of them showing an issue. And I'm guessing... The car consumes more fuel than it should. Am I missing something? Everything's showing up green. Is there an exhaust issue? Is there an exhaust issue? It's not highlighting the exhaust parts. I don't want to take the exhaust apart unless I have to. It could be... It could be inside, couldn't it? It could be clutch. It could be clutch, which would be horrible. Would be absolutely horrible. Um, okay. Maybe it has highlighted the issue already. But I'm not seeing it. That's my only other logical conclusion that's going on right now. Let's get the starter off. And take the other axle off. Axle. And 
then we come... I hate this, because you have to come back in the top, then back underneath. It's like, oh. I'm hoping the issue's in here now. If it's not, it's going to be exhaust-related. I fear. Is that a clutch plate issue? Who knows? Let's have a look. No! They're all perfectly fine. Darn it. Um, can I check the plugs? Yeah, the plugs are fine. It's not the plugs. Let's check the belts. Get the tension roll. Oh, water pump screwed. Idle pull is fine. His water pump's broken. Mm, I can't say I would have gone for that one, if I'm honest. That's a fuel problem. I can't say I would have... It's not on my list of things to check, I'll be honest with you. Doesn't feel... Do you know what I mean? I would have gone for the, the fueling and the combustion side of things. Rather than the actual water pump. Hmm. Well, I wonder if this will fix it. Put them back on while we're here anyway. Has that ticked anything? It has. Right, so it's just an assembly. It was just the water pump then. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I can't... I can't find a logical link between the water pump and the fueling issue. I mean, yes, it would affect the car. But... Why was it... You know, how do I get to that conclusion is my... It's my issue. Oh, well. You live and you learn. I was kind of hoping by now I would have had a pneumatic drill. But then again, I've spent points on the commerce side. Rather than improving my ability to bolt things back on again. But I kind of think that, that the faster bolting should have come with the garage. You know, as you got a much better garage, it would have just said, Oh, you know, this garage has got a pneumatic... Um, bolters. Is that all the parts? Whoops, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Yes, it is. We're done. I believe. Job done. Order 51. Replace or repair or broken part. $1,700. I was showing off to my friends last night. Oh man, I've burned some rubber. <clears throat> Boy racer. Check if I've broken anything. There is another party tomorrow and my ride is going to rock. Oh dude, showing off is an expensive business, eh? Um, okay. So, you've just razzed around in your car. You've shown off to your mates. What have you done? What have you done? Probably physical damage. Suspension, maybe. Brakes, maybe. Drive shaft, maybe. You could have broken a few things, to be honest. I think we're going to put you on the path test. See if we can find out what you've done. Just and hold the brake. Oh man, what kind of ride is this? You've got an all cloth interior. That's no way to show off to your friends. You should have like leather trim in here and stuff. There should be some dice. You need fluffy dice. You can't be a boy racer without fluffy dice. Or maybe your name across the top there on the windscreen. He could have broke suspension. There's a good chance he's broke suspension, I think, and brakes. They're the obvious ones. Physical damage to his car. I'm surprised there's no wheel alignment.
You know, I think you should have uh, the ability to take the tyres off and stuff and replace the tyres and balance the wheels. That would have been quite fun. Oh, wow. Suspension's completely fine. He didn't break his suspension. Look at that. What did he break, then? Hmm. I don't think a drive, a test drive, is going to reveal any more than that, is it? Place or repair all broken parts. Should we check out the brake discs then? They're looking distinctly red in there. Maybe that's all he did. Maybe he just screwed his brakes over. Yeah, they're on 23. I can understand he's worn his brakes out. Completely get that. I would have thought he would have driven over something, though. I would have thought he'd have bust his suspension. I'm surprised, to be honest. I'm amazed he's not asking for a tune. Because he wants a bit more power for tomorrow to show off. <laughs> Impress the girls. Whatever he's doing. Actually, I don't need to do this. They look fine. They're, they're not red, are they? They are not red, and they are not red either. Um, there's nothing repairable. So, I think it's just a case of four pads, is it? Four brake pads. Is that all that's wrong with this car, do we think? I think I'm going to max... Maxed out Master of Commerce. 2% discount per level. That's a 20% discount now. And that's the most I can get. Um, break... No, 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 no. Break pads. One, two, three, four. I'm getting them for $40 instead of 50 Break pad. Break pad. Break pad. He kind of sorts them in a weird way. Might be useful if he could sort them in different ways. Let's put that pad on there. Caliper back on. Get your wheel back on. I'm wondering if that'll fix it or not. If it doesn't, then I think we may have to either go for a diagnostic check in case it's if he's broken his fueling system. Or go for a test drive, it's probably the better thing to do. In case he's broken his drive axle or, you know, God knows what. Okay, so that's not fixed it. We know that that was a problem. But there is another problem. Um, it's, it's not like he's broken his fuel filters and things like that. I, I, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be more physical, I imagine. Thrashing your car like this. Oh, that back end steps out in your banana milkshake vehicle. Sponsored by Yazoo. Slow down, dude. Slow down. They're not very responsive, these cars. They're slow to accelerate. They're slow to brake. Nobody's had a car through the door yet where I thought, well, that's, you know, that's a nice and tight ride, that is. Right, what has that showed? Oh, hello. What's that down there, pal? Is that a broken... Is that a broken axle I see? I knew he'd do something like that. Yes, indeed. He's busted his drive axle. It didn't show up in the, um, the path test. Probably wouldn't. I mean, that's fair enough, I think. I 
think we can repair these drive axles. I think we can't. I think we've got to buy drive axles. Let me just double check what they are. Okay, they're nothing special. Just drive axle left, drive axle right. Drive axle right, drive axle left. Sell those, $80. Come on. You know you want me. That's that one. I can't imagine what else would be wrong with it. Unless he's burnt his clutch out or something. And that's going to be a messy job. He's got a V6, hasn't he? He's got a real world drive. That's going to be horrible if that's the case. Oh, phew, thank God for that. <laughs> I was thinking clutch is going to be a real big job. $1,700. Made a good profit on that, actually. 